Hi, JNM here with an update for my screencast add-on Viewer for Blender 2.8. Here's a sample project and when I press the N key to open the sidebar, you can see the panel of the Viewer add-on. Looks quite the same as before, but we have some new features. I started and it is displayed in the lower right hand corner as before, but the first thing you can notice are the more friendly display names, for instance for the mouse button clicks, the escape key or the enter key, before it was a bit cryptic text, also for the numbers, it's not anymore the name in uppercase letters. Ok, but the main feature is the kind of heads up display. You can set the dock type now to cursor to let the display follow the mouse cursor. When you change it to cursor, you can see that you can define an offset for the X and the Y axis so that the screencast can be displayed above or below the mouse cursor and you can set it to the left or the right. If you want to reset it to the default values, just right click a setting and choose reset to default value. Another feature is to show or hide the mouse buttons. Hide them if you need the best performance. Ok, so let's have a look at the Python code. The version is 0.9.1.0 and I introduced some new properties for the scene. This means they are stored in the blend file. For example, the show buttons is a bool property. Then I extended the dock property so that you can set it to cursor. We have the offsets for X and Y, which are int properties, and all these properties are added now to the panel. Here check if dock is set to 3, which is cursor, and only in this case I show the cursor offset properties. Please let me know if you think that these offsets also make sense for the other dock types. Ok, and the last property is here the show buttons. Alright, that was the panel, now let's have a look at the operator. It has a new method, handle mouse move, which is called in the modal method. Here I check if the event type is mouse move and the dock type is set to cursor. Only in this case I store the locations of the mouse cursor as member variables of the mouse input class. You can see it here, mouse x, mouse y. And then I create the batches again for the GPU shaders so that the mouse buttons can be displayed at the location of the cursor. I will check if I have to optimize this code so that these batches don't have to be rebuilt each time the mouse is moved but I go with this for the first version. Here you can see I set the offset for the vertices but only if the dock type is set to cursor. Ok, in the draw callback I draw the mouse buttons only if the scene property show buttons is set to true. This is the method draw buttons. And then I introduced a new method draw text in which I also check if the dock type is set to cursor and then set the appropriate offsets. Alright, I guess that's quite simple code. The last thing that I added is the friendly names. This is basically just a dictionary for some event types, for example the left mouse or wheel up mouse, escape, and this makes it fast and extendable. I added a method get event type, and this tries to look up a friendly name for a given event type. If the key for the event type can be found, it returns the friendly name and in the other case the pure event type. The result is assigned to a member variable called self key which is used to display the text. The free add-on can be downloaded from my GitHub, the link is added to the description. Just click this button and then download zip. And how to install it is described here in the installation instructions. If you find any bugs or you have feature wishes or other issues then add these to the issues list. You see I try to analyze and close these as soon as possible. Ok guys, that's it again, I hope you liked the add-on and my channel, if you do then please don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. 
Follow me on my Instagram, Facebook or Twitter and if you'd like to support me then consider being my patron, this would really help a lot. Thanks for this guys, thanks for watching and I see you on JNM.